Hi, Aliza here with more of Aliza's Edible Science. Today we're going to talk all about invertebrates, so things without a backbone. We're going to talk about three of the groups that you find in invertebrates. Arthropods, mollusks, and echinoderms. And each of those three groups has some unique adaptations that help them survive in their habitat. Now we're not just going to talk about them, we are going to create them out of some of the fun things that I found in my pantry. The most important of which is marshmallows, representing the nice soft bodies that these invertebrates have. So those marshmallows will come in handy, but you can also have things like pretzels, some nice pulley licorice, any sort of chips you have around, and other candies that you might want to use to create these critters. Let's start with echinoderms. Echinoderms are invertebrates that have rough or spiky skin. So things like my friend, the marshmallow sea urchin here. He has these spikes to help protect him, as well as having a little bit of venom in each of those spines that probably packs a punch if something tries to eat him. So sea urchins are one example of an echinoderm. Another is our friend, the sea star, which I've made here with some triangle chips and a marshmallow in the middle. Again, nice rough skin, not nearly as spiky as our other friend here, but still an echinoderm. Now echinoderms don't actually have blood and a vascular system the way we do. They pump water throughout their bodies to transmit nutrients and oxygen where they need to go. So slightly simpler invertebrates from that perspective. Let's scooch them aside. Next, let's look at arthropods. So with some video magic, I've brought over my representative of the arthropod group. He is an ant, so falls into the insect category. Arthropods all have jointed legs, but how many legs is one of the ways that we separate them into smaller groups, like insects, which have six legs, or arachnids, like spiders, that have eight, or even crustaceans that have ten, though usually those front two are modified into claws. Now my ant here, as an insect, has three body segments. He has a head, a thorax, and an abdomen, and those six legs coming off. I also gave him some antennae over here, help him sense his world, especially because ants rely heavily on smell and touch to see and hear what's going on around them. Now the final group of invertebrates that we're going to talk about is mollusks, and for this I'm going to switch out my trays. Mollusks are invertebrates that have a soft body and a hard shell. So this can include things like bivalves, what we call the groups of clams, oysters, and things of that nature, where they have two halves of a shell that hinge at one point. So I made us a little bivalve friend, a little clam or an oyster who maybe, you know, developed a pearl in there if you wanna add that as well. But what many people don't realize is that squids and octopuses are also mollusks. Now you might be asking, I see the soft body, but where's the hard shell? So for this, I've used a pretzel stick to represent that hard shell because for squids and octopuses, they actually have a shell inside their body called a pin shell. Now, when we think of squids and octopuses, we also think of tentacles. Squids have two tentacles, longer, able to reach out and grab prey, and eight arms, a little bit shorter, stronger, covered in suckers to hold on to that prey once they've captured it. Also have nice big round eyes on the side of their head, and their heads are actually right by their feet. That puts them in a group called cephalopods. So literally head feet. So squids and octopuses, bivalves like clams and oysters, even snails are all in the mollusk group. So there's lots of different invertebrates out there, so many more than I was able to make with just my ingredients. So feel free to do a little research, find some cool invertebrates and see if you can make them out of ingredients in your pantry. But for now, remember, echinoderms are spiny, arthropods have jointed legs, and mollusks have a soft body and a hard shell. Until next time, thanks for stopping by.